Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for being there. Um, being able to know that we're, you know, we're changing, we're up, uh, just uplifting in so many different beautiful directions and being able to go towards the things that we always want to have in our lives is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been listening to my videos or watching my videos for a while and you have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video is very informative to you or gives you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, um, Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my, um, let me turn this up just a little bit more. I'll turn it down too, too much. Um, my, my meditation music that I'm listening to today is called Bring Balance to Body and Mind, Spirit, 432 Hertz Quantum Energy Healing Sound Therapy. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is Twin Flame 101 Hayokas. Not wasting energy on things that won't bring you to your goals or ambitions. That is so true. Like I've told y'all before, um, anything that comes towards your way, especially when you know you're evolving, um, you're doing things totally different from the norm that you usually do before you went through your spiritual awakening, not constantly on the 3D materialistic situations like, you know, most of the sleep people are. And, you know, because it's just like you're getting signs left and right that better things are coming towards you. You're seeing the signs. You're seeing the synchronicities. You're probably having dreams and visions, daydreams as well as that. Um, catch yourself, you know, just tuning out, <laughs> you know, the world at times. I know I do. Um, going through those different things when you're, you know, you're changing yourself for the better. You know, you're not focusing in on uh, negative situations. Um, being able to, you know, follow the crowd, you know, we're all following, you know, it's a good thing when you can follow the beat to your own drum. I was always like that. When I was a kid, I used to get in trouble so much because the fact is I used to follow people. I'm like, shoot, I want to be the bad girl too. You know, back in those days, I thought it was cool. Now I'm just like, if I knew what knew then, what I knew now, boy, I would have did some stuff so much differently. Like you can't even pay me to do the crazy stuff that I used to do in my life. But all those were different experiences we all had to go through. You know, uh, I, I try not to ever, well, I really don't. You know, we are all people that made mistakes. We have did things that we're not proud of. You know, those are the ways we learn. And, you know, as long as you're not still doing the same things over and over and over again, that's how you know, you know, hey, I'm growing up. There's, a, there's some people that I used to associate myself with that still do the same stuff that they used to do. And I don't knock them for it. It's just the fact is I say, oh, my gosh, you know, they really need to wake up because if they knew, you know, what knew what was going on. Um, and it was just like you have you really have to be able to do that because it's like when you're aiming towards things that you truly want in life, you can't be distracting yourself with all those negativities because darkness will do that it will send stuff towards your way like you'll have people coming back from your past you know saying oh my god what happened to them are you, you changed so much and this and this and that and i'm just like yeah i did but it was for the positive you know because i know there's a lot of people that you know when they were going through their awakening state and i was just trying to figure out what's wrong with you <laughs> why why are you acting like this why you got to feel like you always got to be by yourself this and this and that because I used to hate being by myself. I used to be, hate 
being alone with my thoughts. And I was willing to be around people just so I can feel normal. And knowing I wasn't normal is I don't know what. You know, I've been like this since I was a little kid, but it took me to have to go through certain things for me to realize what I was. And that's why when we're having our spiritual awakening, sometimes it takes that process to understand why did I have to go through these tragic situations? Why did this have to happen to me? You know, th this is really hard for me to be able to take in right now because it's a lot. It's a lot, especially, I mean, when y'all leave y'all, you, you know, your comments about things that you're going through, you know, seeing things in a different way, hearing different things, you know, um, you know, if you're, uh, what, I forgot the word, clear audience or whatever that is, um, able to hear so many things on different frequencies. It's like with me, it's like I hear these pinging noises a lot. Like I'm in here talking to my daughter yesterday. And all of a sudden, I just start covering my ears, and I was screaming. And she was like, what is wrong with you, Mom? Are you okay? And I said, there's a ringing in my ear. You don't hear it? And she's like, no, I don't hear it. And even though my kids are all spiritually, you know, inclined like that, but it's just only got one that's real open about it. You know, my oldest one, she's like, eh, you know, that stuff is weird to me. So it's like she's not into it yet, but I know she's going to have to go through it to get to it. I know that the, the, both of the, you know, the oldest one and the young one is. But being able to go through all these different things, I love the fact that I can talk to my middle daughter about it. And it's just like I try to tell my oldest daughter about it when it comes to my granddaughter. Because I tell her, you know, she stands there and she talks to people when they're not there. Well, you can't see them, but she can see them. Like, she always constantly, posts, you know, points at my, my dad's picture and saying, Papa? Papa? And she, my daughter's looking at me like, did you teach her that? I said, no, I didn't. You know, I said, no, I didn't, because she did it to her when I had my, my dad's picture on my phone. And she's like, Papa, Papa. I said, oh, I guess he must visit her a lot. So it's just like all these different things, you know, you're aiming towards stuff. And it's just like, don't engage in stuff. That, I mean, don't, I mean, because sometimes people just want to pick a fight with you just to see if they can be able to get up under your skin. And I found that out because I'm the type of person, I always got to have last word. I was the smart ass. It's like, you're not going to say something to me and think I'm not going to say nothing back. Half of the time now, it's just like, I'm going to let you have that one. You know what I said? Because I'm not even about to engage in that. And it's just been so crazy because even my daughter's like, Mom, you don't have any friends that come over. And I like being by myself. It doesn't bother me. You know, because I know I got my spirit guides. You know, I constantly talk to y'all. You know, it's bad. But it's, it's okay for that because I like having conversations with y'all. You know, I love to be able to have in-depth conversation be reciprocated on me saying something and not sounding crazy when I say it because it's like anybody that I'm like like that with it just doesn't work out it, it just never does work out and it's just like I don't want to put I'm not saying I put a wall up but I noticed that anytime I get really 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 close to somebody like that come to find out they're either trying to block blessings from me or they're trying to jab me in my back and then wonder why their health and stuff is messed up or whatever and it's just like I said okay I'm, I'm like whoever needs to be around me if they need to be around me it'll happen I'm not forcing nobody so it's just like being able to go through this has actually been a blessing because it allows me to see things in so many different ways so many different levels and so many different frequencies especially when I go from the 4d to the you know the 5d a lot and you know and then seeing stuff at the 3d level and I'm just like oh my god how can y'all do this <laughs> I cannot live in that 3d level anymore because especially if you've been you know portal jumping and dimension jumping all the time and stuff like that and you're seeing so many things it's like your mind is coming open to all these beautiful things that's coming into your life it allows you to see things how they're connected especially with that third eye you know a lot of people i don't know about you you know y'all need to let me know if you've been getting a lot of vibrations in the middle of your forehead i know somebody sent me a picture the other day and they had a red spot i remember one time i had a scar right dead in the middle of my forehead and i'm just I'm like god dog what happened to you it's a long story nobody hit me but it's just a long story so it's like I wasn't trying to go. That was just not a conversation you need to have with somebody who's asleep. Because <laughs> they'll be looking at me like, oh, okay, you got a third eye growing in, you know, in the middle of your head. But I'm blessed to be able to see all these different things. Being able to know, you know, you're getting all these synchronicities that allows you to know, you know, the the spirit guides are proud of you. They're applauding you for all the things that you're doing. You're shedding faucets to things. You know, you're you're able to interpret, you know, balance out your spirit world to your private life. 
you know, because it was like before I was so much into the spirit world and stuff like that and doing the things that I need to do that I neglected other things. So it's like now I'm trying to prioritize my life being able to do it because you know sometimes I you know I do videos like four three four days in a row but there are sometimes I get so much information like if somebody comes out and talk to me I just like I'm not trying to be short with you but if I'm like feeling that vibe there are so many people that are so sensitive towards me that that when they come in and they're like yep no mm -mm. they're like what's wrong with you I got some crazy vibes coming right now I'm really trying to block you from them because a lot of people, they're like, you know, especially it's like one of my soul sisters. She's like, yeah, I feel that vibration coming off and it's starting to hit me in my head. I said, that's the reason why I told you I didn't want to talk to you. So it's just like going through all these different things. I know I have to go through it to get to it. Being able to educate myself and knowing, you know, when you're ascending and you're going towards bigger and better, you don't know when things are going to pop off. So you just keep working on yourself. You keep, you know, whatever messages are coming in, I'm allowing myself to be that antenna, to get the frequencies, whatever I got to do, I got to be able to get that so I can be able to tell y'all about it. Because I know there's a lot of people that are going through different things and it is so comforting to know that, you, that you're not going through these things by yourself is a beautiful feeling to know. You're like, hey, I'm not alone. Thank God. I thought I was going crazy. Or, you know, a lot of people keep coming back and telling me they don't see a lot of information on Hayokas. And it's just like, you know, before, if you've been with me for a long time, you know, I know a lot of y'all have been with me like six months or greater. But with me doing this, is going my third year. I have, you know, evolved so much. Like, if you can see my videos from first started until now, I was like, God, dog, you changed. Especially in some of my friends that are spiritually awakened and we never talked on that thing, you know, on that level. And then being able to actually open up and talk to them. And, you know, they were like, Rosalyn, you changed so much. You're not like that rah, rah, rah girl. Because I've always been that one that was always about it. You know, they're all in there for the fight. You know, I'm like, oh, no, nah, I'll cuss you out in a minute. But now I'm not like that. I'm just like a peace dealer. But it's just like you have to be able to really put me in a corner. And it's like I don't like showing my temper because that can be very docile. <laughs> and I don't like doing that. So it's just I'm working on that with myself, being able to not allow things to get to me like they used to. Because it really does. And it has, I mean, you really have to be poking at me for me to do that. And it's like, you know, some people, they leave uh, messages on the comments and I'm just like are they trying to be condescending are they trying to be a smart ass or that are they really asking questions I'm like clarify yourself because it's whatever your answer is going to depend on how I'm going to answer that so you know it, there's just a lot of different things but I'm blessed that I haven't had to really deal with that lately you know there I had a few people but it's just like you know I'm not even going to engage in that because as you already know, with you being a Hayoka, you have a tendency to bring out people's insecurities and they try to say, you know, say, oh, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this. And I'm just like, it is what it is. You know, Hayokas, we do that. So it's like we're all working on ourselves. You know, you're aiming towards bigger and better. You're able to be able to de de -inferate. You know that word I'm trying to say you're able to see the difference between a lot of things. I never was able to say that word, but it's. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But being able to see things for what they truly are and being able to work and better on your, better yourself towards bigger and better things. And it's just a blessing when I have my dad being my little uh, metaphysical cheerleader. He's like, hey, I'm so proud of you. Hey, you know, you're doing this and you're doing that. I'm like, thanks, dad. And, uh, you know, and it's just a beautiful blessing to be able to do that. Because, I mean, this week has been so hard for me, you know, uh, trying to deal with, you know, all this information coming down. And then my dad's birthday is coming up. You know, and had to go through that. You know, I just really didn't get on social media that much. I wanted to make videos, but I knew I wasn't in that right energy to do it because I was just going to like, okay, you know, let me just throw that into the back of my mind. And it was like, no, you you need to go through this. Don't, don't hold on to that. So I had to really go through it and take my break and be able to do what I need to do so I can come back and be right for y'all. So I hope y'all had a... Uh, uh, blessed weekend you know it's been exciting I said for me it's been very tiring I don't know about you but it's been thunderstorming here for the last what three three days I think since Friday late Thursday early Friday so it's just like been so hard because when it rains with me this is that time I want to get up under my fuzzy soft blanket you know curl up with scooby-doo and just watch my videos and just go to sleep so i hope y'all had a blessed relaxing weekend i know i did because now it's like i'm in the house by myself and i feel like yes 
I can sing, dance, and act stupid if I want to. So, you know, let me know if you resonate with the content of this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shout out goes to uh, Linda Fassing, Ray Fisher, and um, uh, let me see, uh, Mary Soul Coleman. So much love to you. And, you know, Go ahead and give me a post, uh, give me a, drop a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out on my next video. And I will see you later. Be safe and be responsible for everything you do. So as much love and light and pos positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you later. Peace. Be wild.